What if you had given up on love and then out of nowhere, you met the one? Well, on today's case, Mr. Bonifiglio says he's done everything to make his relationship work, but says he will no longer stand by and watch the love of his life trade him in for another contender. Let's hear their case. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Starr presiding. Your Honor, this is the case of Bonifiglio versus Stewart. Thank you. Okay. Mr. Bonifiglio, you say that when you met Ms. Stewart, you knew she was out of your league, but when she took a liking to you, you felt like the luckiest man in the world. But things have changed, and now you think she's cheating or at least not being completely honest with you about your relationship. You're ready to give her an ultimatum, I hear. Either it's time to get engaged or the relationship is over. Yes, Your Honor. And, Ms. Stewart, you say that you're in love with Mr. Bonifiglio, but he's starting to remind you of your ex, who was really jealous and controlling, and you refuse to put up with his demands until he changes his controlling ways. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, I got the facts. Let's hear a little bit about the substance. Mr. Bonifiglio? Yes, Your Honor. Um, I'm at my wit's end with my girlfriend. We've been together five years. We've been living together for two. And two months into that period while we were living together, everything seemed to change. I mean, I love this woman so much, but it started out as friendship. Mm -hmm. And that's the core of every good relationship. And okay. there's just nothing there anymore. What changed? I love him, but he's very controlling. What do you mean controlling? <laughs> Explain controlling. Where are you going? Who are you with? When you're coming home? I, I had that in my previous relationship. I can't have that anymore. Have that to... sounds like a trigger. Anytime someone is trying to put you in a box, yes. that means you put a block up. Is that correct? Definitely. Okay, Dude. why are you trying to put her in a box, Mr. Bonifacio? No, I'm not. Your Honor, the first three years, there was none of that. I have a little bit of a reason now. I really feel like something's going on. Okay, but let's talk a little bit about... You said when you first started out, you used to do fun stuff together. What did you used to do together? Oh, yeah. I mean, we were the best of friends. And it was, in the beginning, strictly platonic, you know? We used to work out together. We met while we were working out together. Well, do you work out now? Well, I suffered injuries at work. I'm a special ed teacher. Your Honor, he doesn't work out anymore. Okay, so you answered my question. You knew exactly where I was going. Yeah, so... I got hurt at work. I can't be a special ed teacher anymore at the moment, at least. Ms. Stewart, how long has it been since you all have been able to work out together? <sighs> Two years. So what drew you together, you guys are not able to do it right now. Is that fair? That's fair. Ms. Stewart, is it important to you? Yes, Your Honor. I don't feel like we have anything in common anymore. Talk to me about what drew you to him in the beginning. Well, like he said, it was a friendship in the beginning, and I respected that. And he treated me really well, just like every guy does in the beginning. And so I kind of gave him a chance, and our kids met, mm -hmm. which is a big deal for me because I don't let my kids meet anybody. And they got along, and it kind of just worked out in the beginning. I just kind of fell out of touch Your with Honor, everything on Your Honor, so much has changed. You know, I can't work right now, but I'm doing the best to be the best possible partner, you know. I do everything she wants. Dinner is all alone, all the time now, when that was really a big bonding thing. There were so many things that we did together. We don't have to eat together all the time. No, we don't. But we haven't eaten at all together. And, Your Honor, I submitted evidence about this. All I want to do is eat a meal. She loved my cooking. Well, let's see that evidence. I guess I'll be eating alone. All my work on my meatball sauce. I thought breakfast would be a nice surprise. But, once again, nobody's here. Why don't you want to join him for meals? I don't eat carbs. He loves carbs. He's Italian. Since when? The first three years, sure, we ate healthy sometimes, but we had pasta at least once a week. I think she's eating with another guy. <sighs> Why wouldn't you want to eat with your significant other? There we go. <laughs> okay, there we go. So, so here's my question. Can we cook something that you want to eat? Have we had that discussion? I, I feel like I am talking to a bunch of six-year-olds that y'all can't figure out how 
to find some common ground, or or maybe it's you're not trying to find no, some Honor, common ground. I tried to rekindle this. Miss Stewart this, doesn't this. like carbs. Don't cook carbs. <laughs> no. <laughs> and I cooked fish. Even though it was good before, I got rid of that. I tried to make it romantic, candle. Yeah, but if you everything. got spaghetti sitting there, she's not no, gonna eat it. No, this was a good salmon dinner. No carbs. Perfectly Ms. healthy. Miss Stewart, why you rolling your eyes? What you trying to say? I changed. I just want better. I want him to be better. How what is that? How? Well, let's just find out. Let's call unpacking. Have you communicated that? I have. Since he's lost his ability to work out, take care of himself, you know, grow his hair out, I, I just feel like it's... We never communicate. This is the really, especially about the hair, the first time hearing about it. He's always arguing with me, so but I just tend to sh shut down because of my previous relationships, because it just works for me that way. Yeah, this is the most communication we had in a year and a half, really. Well, Mr. Bonifiglia, something tells me that if you try to box Miss Stewart in, mm -hmm. she's going to block no, all I emotion understand. because that's a trigger from old trauma. And uh, if she's re-traumatized, I just don't. That I is not her. attractive. Is Your that fair to say? When he's with me and the kids, he argues with me in front of them. To me, that's not healthy. I had that in my previous relationship. Why would I want that? Maybe once we were with the kids. It just—it's not happening no, I, anymore. There's nothing I could do that's good enough for him. Nothing. It's always a complaining factor. Mr. Bonifiglio, talk to me about intimacy, because when a relationship loses intimacy, that relationship is done. You're right. We haven't had sex for six months. God. Talking about being backed up. <laughs> you That's know what your I'm problem. saying? <laughs> Good heavens. That's what the tissue's for. <laughs> I'm like more like her errand boy. It's always like, go pick up the kids. I also submitted evidence with this. I want you not to be late picking up the kids, and don't forget we need tissue. Something tells me that there was something else going on. Is there someone else? I'm like more like her errand boy. It's always like, go give me some tissue. Go give me my protein health shakes. Go pick up the kids. Your Honor, I also submitted evidence with this. Let's look at the evidence. Hey, love, thinking of you. That's you, Mr. Botafiglio. That's right. Hope you're having a good day. Do you want fish tonight? Okay, See? no carbs, I hear that. There you go. Ms. Stewart responds, I want you not to be late picking up the kids, and don't forget we need tissue. You see how everything's transactional for her? And now I'm communicating, what can I do for you? So, you know, Ms. Stewart, is this in context? Because something tells me that there was something else going on for somebody to respond that way, which, by the way, was very dismissive of what seemed to be a nice text. I, I, I do dismiss because I just, I can't be engaged. You're not ready. In all honesty, he's not the one. Is that what you're trying to say? I love him. Is there someone else? No. There's no okay, one else. Look, can I tell you about the trainer? Well, we you go. all used to work out together. Right. Well, so is before, there a trainer? Now we're talking we a third met, party? She had this trainer. Your Honor, but, people work out together. Fair enough. Yeah. But the trainer was there, but gone for three years. Now, all of a sudden, I started noticing texts. And I had to approach her and say, are you, are you working out with your trainer again? Which wouldn't have been a big deal, but why am I having to ask in the first place? Your Honor, why is he going through my text messages? It's just He doesn't there. trust me. So Got you were being Snoop City. Yeah. You felt there was something wrong, so you decided, let me try to see what's going on. And is that fair? Yes. But we have to be honest here. Your Honor. What did you find out was going on? Let's submit the evidence. Fair enough. B, we still on today? Hells yeah. Hey, I'm here. So all the girls were jealous I got all your attention today. Let them. You're the only worth looking at. Can't wait for our sesh today. Now, does that your sound Honor? like a professional relationship between a trainer and the person that's training? Who's workout bay? Your Honor, he's just my friend, and I've known him way longer than I've known Joseph. That's my workout partner. It just Work doesn't out, sound... Bae. I think it's developed. It's a nickname. I think it's developed into something else. And you know what? On you the do realize that you may not be able not to yet. work out hard 
but you can walk, oh, work you out. can jog, you can... Your Honor, his mental state out. has it's been off not... since he's had his injury. Have you even tried to work out with her? No. With physical therapy, I know what I can do, and it's so much less. Okay, Mr. Bonifilio, I used to weigh 300 pounds. When I started losing weight, I worked out every day. I could barely lift my leg, okay? Mm -hmm. I was still trying. No, I'm going to physical therapy every day. But we're going from, you know, lifting 280, 300 pound bench press to like <laughs> something that I don't want to say. It's just so much less than what I used to do, you know? 280 is impressive. Yeah. You impressed Robert. <laughs> not okay. at, unfortunately, not at the moment. You're going to have to fish or cut bait. What are you prepared to do? I need more of a commitment. I need to feel secure that we can work on something and go forward. So I have this ring. Julie, I love you so much. I just, I don't understand. You need to wait to put that ring on her hand until she answers. If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Missed a show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. Your Honor, he's controlling. No. I submitted evidence. Okay, I want to yes. know what you've been seeing. Thank you. What in the world is all of that, Miss Calls? That looks like literally dozens of calls back to back to back to back to back to back. Yes, Your Honor. He wants to know where I'm at 24 seven. What are you doing? Who are you with? <sighs> Were you worried that something had happened to her? Because yeah. that's a little psycho, okay? For yes, real. So Your that's Honor. That's a little psycho. Especially someone I... who has been in an abusive relationship and you know she's been in an abusive relationship. He calls me back to back. He so interrogates me. So why would you be me? calling her back to back? Well, first of all, maybe it was three days. It's not happening all the time. When nope. I found out and I suspected that for sure something was going on with her trainer, I just wanted to catch her in the act, you know? I just wanted her to admit it so we could get some closure with it and I could Your Honor, he accuses on. me of looking at other men in the grocery store. No. Yes. You can look all you like. <sighs> you seem very much insecure, Mr. Bonifacio, yes. because you're not able to do some of the things that you all did that brought you together. Those are just the facts. But, but also, you've become boring. And it doesn't seem like you want to do anything that brought you together. Isn't a relationship the core friendship? Isn't she supposed to still support me? Yes, but doesn't trust in, in not being able to control another was, person? Can I tell you about what happened at the beach? I would love to oh, know what happened Lord. at the beach. We were supposed to have our little blended family together at the beach, having fun, just time to ourselves. Sure enough, I finally get to meet the trainer. He comes walking up. Coincidence? Maybe. She comes to me almost instantaneously and says, oh, he's offering me a free session. Uh, I'm gonna bail out for a little while. And they just go walk off together. The humiliation that I felt with the kids. Your Honor, I was multitasking. Anyways, when they come back, they are so giddy, touching each other, arm around each other. And then he has the audacity to tell me, you know what, a mile down the beach, I have my own condo. So what did you think that was about? They were having sex. Now, no. you are really thinking no. that Miss mm -mm. Stewart left your company with all of your children, nope. went and did a quick hookup <laughs> with her trainer, and then came back. Who would leave anyway? I mean, how disrespectful is If I was cheating, why would I have him around? to be leaving in the first place? Mr. Bonifiglia, how about she wanted to take a jog down the beach and you don't want to jog anymore? While we're having a blended family day together. 40 minutes of personal time at you the beach all day? You don't think that's rude, Your Honor? nothing wrong with that. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, disappointment only lies in what you expected to get, not what that's you actually true. get. If you are expecting more and you're not getting it, that's because you have a different level of expectations. That's true, expectations is everything. Right, and if you were expecting her to be somebody that she's not... Just the woman I fell in love with three years ago. But you aren't the man that she fell in love with three years ago. So we all need to live in our own truth. You're uh, different. And... Yeah. Miss Stewart, if you had met him with these personality traits, 
would you have gotten into a relationship with him? Would he have been your choice? No, Your Honor. No. Well, he's a good guy. That's not to suggest that he's not a good guy. He just not, may not be for you. Mr. Bonafiglio, what do you want? I... Is she the person that you still would have chosen, knowing what you now know? No, but I know what we had, and that's what I want. So yeah. you're looking for rekindling of yes. what you had. And I don't understand how something so amazing could go bad just on maybe my pecs aren't as big as they used to be. Are you kidding me? People change. You know, that'll get there. But if the poor friendship is so amazing, isn't that true love? You know, I, I just don't get it. That's, there was trust that may in the be beginning. her world now, but that's not my, my world. I don't, I don't understand that. Mr. Anyway. Bonafiglia, what is it coming down to? Because at some point, you're going to have to fish or cut bait. Mm -hmm. And that's this time right now. Well, maybe it's gonna end, but I need that next step. You what know. are you prepared to do? I need more of a commitment. I need to feel secure that we can work on something and go forward, so. Well, tell her what you need. You know, I have this ring. And Julie, I love you so much. I just, I don't understand. I know we can rekindle this, and I love you so much. And I'll get there. Be patient with me. Robert. I love you. Robert. Will you marry me? You need to wait to put that ring on her hand until she answers, sir. Got it. No. I I'm knew sorry. that was coming, Robert. I know. Um, How sir. How do you do this? Um, that's the epitome of controlling. Mm -hmm. Julie, are you okay? I was not expecting that. Mr. Bonifiglio, the last thing you want to do is push a vulnerable woman who's worried about you controlling her into a corner and publicly make her make a choice. Cause you know what? She might make that choice. I needed to know because for some reason she's not with me spiritually, communication, but yet she still doesn't want to break up. So I need to make a move either to be together or to break up. Mr. So Bonifiglio, she just broke up with you. Got it. Look at that. Look at that on TV. What's wrong with you? I needed to hear something. On national television? That was humiliating. You're cheating. I know you're cheating on I'm me. I'm not cheating so on you. So why are you playing this game? You know, I tried to talk to you so many times. See? And you, you ignore me. You want to marry me, me but there's trust and issues and you're controlling. I've had that I don't agree with you. I do not. I'm sorry, but I do not agree no, not sorry. with her honor. <laughs> no. Ooh, that took me out, Robert. Yeah, she checked out a long time ago. I don't think he was even putting forth a real effort. No. She's consistently who she was. Right. He's the one who's changed. Right. It's fair to change in a relationship, but understand, there's ramifications to that changing. You could have took a walk with your, with your girlfriend. Yeah. Let's go on a hike. How about you spot her? <laughs> Because <laughs> she looked like she could roll with it. Oh, yeah. Either way, Workout Bay, he waiting in the wings. Listen, if my wife saw Workout Bay, I'd be outside, <laughs> outside the house. <laughs> uh-huh. You be gone, Bay. <laughs> <laughs>